People asked for it. Now it's time to explain it. Hello everyone, this is Miguel Nike398. Welcome back to another part. Initially I actually have like other videos talking about Terry Sivertson. Um, the time back at the uh, back then when I got first blocked by his by that asshole. The other time when uh, the other time when uh, the next fighter is a Nintendo rep, which is Paramithra, and yeah, I kind of have to you know, throw away that idea. I still have the video. I could actually upload it if I want. Now today we're gonna start discussing. I mean start. Taking a look at Danny Phantom <laughs> Dinosaur Video Game Fan or also known as Danny Phantom DI1 Such a peculiar name. He also claimed himself that he's an As they have Asperger's syndrome, which does which kinda actually contradicts um the situation that he posted on Twitter. Believe me, I too have Asperger's. I do have, you know, some social anxiety and bullshit and s stuff. But I don't threaten people's, you know, I, I don't threaten or gatekeep people's, you know, decisions and that. So I would like to, you know, to like explain everything about him again. So you already, you already seen the last video about like Terry Severson explain. Now I want to explain this other account this is by far uh this is according to many people his third account so being a third account on twitter of course his past two accounts already got suspended due to him saying fuck you go to hell retard motherfucker get the fuck out of here i my mom fucking dies stop stop saying that you know my mom stop saying anything about my mom my mom dies what are you talking about man you're 36 years old and you're acting like a you know, a deranged child uh, crying about, eh, my mom died. Beep, 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 beep. My favorite great great grandma died. All right? And pe and there are some people sometimes say, eh, your grandma. Blah, blah. <laughs> like, it, it hurts. I know it hurts. But sometimes there are some people who don't know your identity or don't know who you truly are out outside the internet. So you just have to excuse them, all right? Just because people say, eh, your mom is so fat, doesn't mean that it's being literal. And that's and this is the problem. Terry is very, very literal every time in his post. By the way, I haven't actually logged in because my main account got, you know, my, uh, got blocked. I wish I could create a, you know, a throwaway email, but uh, I'm too tired. I just literally I just woke up all right I just woke up from from all of the stuff um, e3 because e3 just e3 started 12 midnight in my in my place so anyways so let's start off with one of his um, bullshitting excuse all right I will not discuss about you know the likes and stuff because look at him all of his you might like stuff are fucking gay <laughs> not these two this one he's naked <laughs> so let's see this one is gonna be snap this age badly <laughs> and don't worry I saved some of them uh, these three uh, as for now just in case if the last final um, final character assuming that they're gonna uh, reveal it on let's say um, uh, somewhere in September or October would be funny if it's in November or December all right would be very very funny but yeah given the time uh, for an upcoming DLC I believe that's gonna be the case mm hmm so anyways here Sora is very highly going to be the last DLC fighter, even more than ever, because Disney has proven they aren't stingy with their IPs by letting Jack Sparrow and Davy Jones be added to the new Sea of Thieves expansion. And no, Disney didn't get ownership of Rare or Microsoft. Now, here's some of the mis uh, misleading information. Number one, no one actually, I don't actually recall, you know, Disney being stingy and want to buy something. I mean, I do recall something like that, like, 
uh, you want you want this you better uh we better pay you up uh, something like that i that's what i recall uh that's what but when it comes to video games they don't normally do that like take for example nintendo and disney games there are literally disney games on the nintendo consoles and that is no problem there's the aladdin games there's also um epic mickey mm -hmm. Uh, by uh, what I meant Aladdin, I meant the SNES version of Aladdin. There's also the Lion King as well. Like, just because, because, listen. Nintendo is the publisher. Disney is the developer. Or, you know, um, the other publisher or, uh, for the game. Nintendo is the one, you know, publish the game onto their servers. That's how business works. I thought you're 30, I thought you already knew about business shit, Severson. This is basically taught on in college and stuff. How come you forgot about that? Are you some sort of a person pretend to be 36? Would be funny if you say I'm still 36. Uh Would be funny if he did say that he's still 36 in this year. Because if he says that he's 36 in this year, that means he lied about his age. <laughs> He lied about his age. So literally, like I said, um, Disney and Nintendo have no problems, you know, uh, producing games and publish games onto the Nintendo consoles. Like literally, they have a lot of them. <laughs> Toy Story, Epic Mickey, Tangled, there's the Pinocchio, Cars, Phineas and Ferb, Jungle Book, um, and so on. Even the Pirates of the Caribbean, they have that. Now you may be thinking, eh, there's no Kingdom Hearts. Yes, there is. Kingdom Hearts Melody, uh, the Kingdom Hearts MOM. Mel Melody of Memory. That's on a Nintendo Switch console. <laughs> Cross-platform with other consoles as well. That is on a Nintendo's, on, that's already on a Nintendo console. Same goes to other Kingdom Hearts, uh, Kingdom Hearts games. I know they're not main titles, but side spin-offs are, because from what I can tell, spin-offs are somewhat considered a part of the canon, because that's that's how bullshit the Kingdom Hearts uh, plot lines are. Oh my god, I don't li really like Kingdom Hearts so much. I mean, the plot itself, it's so confusing, because Square Enix and Disney try to find ways to just fuck their own, you know, their own timeline. So for this statement here just because disney allows i mean just because disney you know created a game or you know i mean let microsoft add their characters the pirates of the caribbean uh onto the sea of thieves doesn't mean that it's get doesn't mean they're gonna get ownership of rare or microsoft that is literally bullshit the only case that disney will acquire a company I think that was that was a long time ago hmm remember Microsoft trying to acquire Nintendo Nintendo just <laughs> laugh it out yeah Disney done that before so anyways anyways I'm f I, I also kind of fun uh, I also laugh at this because he stated Clono is a dead AP that Bandai Namco has absolutely no interest and he commented on someone who commented on my post saying thank you very much Sakura and Bandai Namco. I thought you hated me. Why the fuck do you even care reading comments, Severson? <laughs> of someone who you you know who you block. Hmm I guess that we found a Cinder right here. Oh no Anyways I will explain about the Aspergers because I've also experienced this bullshit before when I was in high school, alright? I mean, it's not uh, Asperger syndrome, it's basically forever. You will have this kind of bullshit for the rest of your life. It's a syndrome anyways, it's not, a, you cannot, you know, you cannot re get rid of a syndrome. It's, it will stay there for the rest of your life, anyways. And let's see, let's see, let's see. This one is all about Amigi, uh, the Amiibos. The other one is uh, about Mortal Kombat. I actually understand why 
uh, Mortal Kombat rep on Smash Brothers is not gonna happen because obviously Mortal Kombat don't sell well on the Nintendo on in on Japan. So not on Nintendo console on Japan. So people in Japan don't really like the you know the gory uh, gory shit that Mortal Kombat have. All right. So these three. I think I took this picture uh, right here. So this one, according to Julio, he said, "I hope we get a lot of Tekken music like we did with Terry." Screenshot this because who knows? They might ha not. They might not have a lot of you know, a lot of soundtracks uh, than Terry, uh, than Fatal Fury Kingdom, uh, King of Fighters. But at least they have enough. All right. At least they have enough. Especially this. If if and only if they're gonna include. All, uh, not all of them, just at least some of the songs from T uh, Tekken Tag Team and there's also from Tekken X uh, Street Fighter I would love that, oh my god, please do so yeah, I think that that will be the case, this one <coughs> this is just a joke, and this is a problem for Siversen because he doesn't like jokes, I already explained that in the other video even I commented this and say, Sus is among us. <laughs> he, and then there's this one. This is about uh, the texture quality for his scar. Likely um, lacking some, you know, some parts like bump maps or something. Who knows? Does this one feel like a, you know, a, just a texture and not include a bump map? Alright, anyways. They still have work, so this one, no, it's not. Jap okay, I don't care about political bullshit. Um, you said something about negotiation for Doom content. I still feel that a Doom content could make it in Smash. But the problem for that is that Doom is really that mature content. Plus, really gory. Like, most of the gameplay is too gory. Um... For children rated E10 and up, like, oh my god! So I don't get what. So I already explained this before in the other video, not in the Silver Sun video. I don't get why Nintendo, you know, wanted to continue Smash Brothers as an E10 plus title if they're gonna keep adding characters that are rated T or rated M. Hmm. Joker Persona and Bayonetta are rated M titles. Hmm. Uh, Big Badang the Bunks, um, Paramithra and Separayath, and as well as Kazuya, are rated T titles. Hmm. I don't get the I don't get the point because majority of these characters are rated T or rated M. I mean the DLCs, majority of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Three Houses is also a rated T game because there's also killing. Uh, so yeah. This one is about him ranting. Eh, stop saying such bullshit. Could you at least provide some source? That's a problem about Siversen. That's another problem about Siversen. Be uh, it's be is that he, that he don't actually provide source. He keeps saying, eh, it's like this and that. Okay, where's the evidence? And, he, and late, like there's that one case from his other account before he got terminated. Uh, saying that uh, he does this and that and then the other person said okay give me source where's where can I find that and he keeps saying the same thing <laughs> he keeps saying the same thing above and saying, blah, 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 this and that like it's so retarded I can I, I'm very sorry if I, could, if I should say that but it's so nonsense all right just because you have Asperger's doesn't mean that you have to be so idiotic there are other celebrities who have Asperger's not movie celebrities, any celebrities. Albert Einstein have one, but he's not that dumb. Hmm? So, Sora is way bigger than shitty Crash Bandicoot. Also, Activision has basically deconfirmed Crash by saying they like to see Crash to be smashed someday. That kind of contradicts. Hmm. That literally contradicts. Sora is way bigger than Crash Bandicoot. Also, say. You said Activision has basically deconfirmed Crash by saying they like to see Crash be in Smash someday. That's nonsense. That is nonsense. 
You're contradicting your own statement. Sora is way bigger than Shady Crash Bandicoot. Also, Activision is basically decomposing Crash by saying they like to see Crash to be in Smash someday. That is so idiotic. Say, say, say that to Badger Kazooie, right? Last, last, last year. Um, I think that was in 2017 or 2018. Fan fans ask uh fans ask Phil Spencer, are there any chance for Banjo Kazooie in Smash? They answered, maybe. Mm-hmm. And then later on, 2019, bam, Banjo Kazooie. And then Phil Spencer be like, ha yeah, it is happening because we ask Nintendo if we should include the bear and the bird. Mm-hmm. That is way too contradicting. That is way. Too- just because, um, just because a company say eh, it's possible that doesn't mean that it that won't be the case. Take a ex- take a look at uh, Minecraft. I think in, that was in 2019 at Minecon Earth. Someone asked, "Are there any chance for Minecraft Steve to be in Smash Brothers?" And then Mojang staff be like, uh, "We have no idea for that. If if there is, uh, I would like to see Skeleton to be the fighter. Uh, that's that's what they said." But at the same time, um, they couldn't. Ju- they could have just said, uh, "I could, I, I could, you know, confirm or deny the statement." So yeah. So that's because if you're responding that uh, someone saying, hey, "Are there any chance that your character will be in Smash Brothers?" and if you respond, "Maybe I don't know," <laughs> I haven't been at. Uh, I haven't been addressed by that. Uh, that company. So does that means that they are you know answering, um, yeah, like I know I know it's I know it's a bit confusing, but basically I can confirm or deny that statement. So let's just move on to the next question. Sorry about that. Like that. That's how you. <laughs> that way that could be like fifty fifty, and and fans be like, does that mean that they will add? Um, that character to smash and the other half would be like oh all right I understand maybe someday in the future so so like that if a if a if a company uh, ask uh, answered uh, being asked if a character can be in smash and if they answer it politely I mean answered you know in a manner that people thought that you answered then that's Oh my god, I can't, I can't, ex- I cannot explain. I'm very, very sorry. I'm sorry that I messed up your brain a little bit. We're not here talking about, you know, characters in Smash. We're talking about Terry Silverson. I'm sorry that I wasted like two minutes or three minutes of your time. Oh my god. So, so let's talk. Um, just because a former Disney um, game developer, you know, Stated that uh, Sora is not a Disney character and he could have a chance to be in Smash Brothers. <laughs> See, that's contradicting because you said, um, you said this, you said this. Sora is way bigger than Shitty Crash Bandicoot. Also, Activision has basically deconfirmed Crash by saying they like to see Crash to be in Smash someday. Hmm? Same goes to that former Disney um, programmer. He stated that uh, Sora could be in Smash, uh, could be in Smash someday. That is so idiotic for you. Disney wants Sora full fighter, and only Nintendo would not negotiate for Sora just to turn around and fuck Disney over by making Sora a me costume. Nintendo has way too much respect for their friendship and relationship with Disney to do something that shitty. Also, the only Mii costume that were allowed to come with the music tracks were Sans and Cuphead because of how the Mii costumes look and because they're indie characters. None of the third-party Mii costumes came with a music track. Also, you two obviously believe all the fake info, rumors, and lies about Disney that have been spread over the years, which make you both fools for believing such BS. Same goes to you because that announce uh, that information was you know shown recently in this year because past years no one fuck gives a shit no one knows about that what the fuck are you talking about 
just because uh, a YouTuber, you know, interviewed a uh, vice president of some uh, vice CEO of a, of the Disney Games, and saying that yeah, I guess Sora could be in uh, could be interested in Smash doesn't mean that it's fact. All right. Oh my God, my head hurts. <coughs> oh, yeah. Uh. No, it's not. Disney isn't stingy at all. Disney 100% owns Sora and Kingdom Hearts IP. Disney wants Sora and Smash as a fighter. Disney will not demand massive amounts of money or ownership of Nintendo. That's part of the reason. The only reason is because Heihachi was killed off. And then this one. This bullshit. This bullshit. Because this person asked, was he actually not picked because of his Japanese voice actor's uh, passing? Do you think? I saw Kazuya and I immediately thought of this to be the reason. That's part of the reason. What part of the reason? Just because the the voice actor of Incineroar died before Smash Ultimate release doesn't mean shit! I'm, it's so stupid of you. You know there are things like you know reprise roles, all right, or not reprise roles, like getting new characters. I mean, new voice actors, all right. There's there's been a case. The Verity's voice actress was changed from Smash Four to Ultimate. Don't you know that? So why bring this bullshit right there, Severson? That's part of the reason. The only reason is because Heihachi was killed off in Tekken. Also, Kazuya is basically the new face of Tekken now. Are you fucking kidding me? Just because uh, Kazuya threw away his father into the lava and he became, you know, the face of Tekken doesn't mean shit. Like, literally, in the post game or in the DLC, Heihachi came back to life after being thrown away into the lava pit by his own son. Ah, uh, it's so stupid. <laughs> Let's see. <coughs> this one, the only character that can end Smash Ultimate on a high note that will completely stop the internet for hours is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Please stop being that serious, man. Please stop being an asshole on the internet. I want to talk about Asperger's now. Really, because if I keep, you know, if I keep scrolling down his comments and replies, that hurt my brain uh, really much. Yeah, it hurts so much. Oh, my God. Like, fuck, man. This person, this person alone is so stupid. He is really dead. Sora will be Challenger Pack 11. I will. Save this. Hey, look at it. Sora will be Challenger Pack 10. Hey, look at it. Sora will be Challenger Pack 11. Hey, look at it. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. We get it. You want um, Mick RPG guy, huh? You don't. You want Disney character, huh? Even him, himself, be like, uh, okay, in this age badly. Like, I see this response. Sora is the main character, you know, not knowing some. This one. <laughs> this one, oh my god. Listen, people don't know who the character was just because it's there it's it, it's called an opinion they're not threatening you all right who the fuck is Sora sounds like a bad character Sora is the main character from Kingdom Hearts and not knowing who Sora is makes you stupid are you fucking kidding me are you implying that anyone who don't know Kingdom Hearts is stupid you're so self-centered you're so fucking self-centered yeah, look at that. 
If you don't know Shantae, then you're fucking racist. That's what he stated in his other Twitter account before he got terminated. Yeah, if you don't know Sora, you're a stupid, retarded punk. <laughs> self-centered. That's the problem. He is self-centered. I want to see this person's um, replies again. I'm not going to ridicule him uh, any longer. But knowing that this guy is a, you know, Kingdom Hearts fan, of course, I'm not going to leave him be. <laughs> oh no, that's Fortnite. Oh my god. He seems he doesn't have, you know, uh, a comment about it. No. No one expected this. I expect it. Honestly, a Tekken rep. I'm happy that, you know, a Tekken rep. One last chance. Yeah, he's a Kingdom Hearts fan. I'll just ignore him. I have no beef with him anyways, so... Yeah. But this statement alone. This is so idiotic. Really idiotic. I really... Oh my god. And this one, um... Here. Kazuya said no. What's that? You want Swordsman in Smash? Here's your Swordsman. But what about Shantae? Watch him gatekeep Shantae. Um, Kazuya is 10, dude. Uh, if he's gonna still bring this, Sora will be 11. And if it ends up... I'll try make a throwaway account on Twitter and just ask him, What if Sora won't be in Smash? What will you do? Uh, I'll also ask the same question at the end of the video anyways. So, it was never a thing. I don't know what this is talking about. Nibelion, um... <laughs> like, really, this... Man, but that's not likely at all. I agree, but with the licensing nightmare, I think this was already been, uh, yeah, this was already been, you know. I say Chung Lee isn't going to be a fighter, but most she'll be a me costume. Also, Capcom doesn't want any more of their characters on the roster. Also, Smash doesn't need any more fighting game characters. And there's already. <laughs> no, I have bad news for you! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm if I have to do this, but mad this age badly. This age very very badly. Eh Kicker doesn't want any more of the characters in roster. Also Smash doesn't need any more fighting game characters and there's already two Street Fighter characters on the roster already. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm just gonna end it here. I'm just gonna end. If you want to, if you want to see his stupid replies and stupid comments, feel free to uh, check the link in the description and pin comment. I guess. So let's talk about the Aspergers because I all I too have this um shit uh, since high school. Like I have problems with studying. I have problems with my temper. Sometimes I'll get mad or over you know. Mm, over uh, being sensitive or by you know by jokes and stuff I mean I tried I, I mean I, I'm, until now, I'm still also trying my best uh, to not to not being an asshole um, IRL <laughs> on the internet I also at least improve some of my emotions because sometimes there are people who be like eh, joking around and shit but if there are people intentionally be like shut the fuck up please get the fuck out you fucking retarded then of course that's where i have to drop the ball all right 
But at the same, because it's basically a self-defense. Like normally, everyone have to counter these arguments. Now I have this kind of behavior, uh, not the Aspergers, like you know, uh, not admitting defeat by my own, uh, by my mom. Like my mom don't don't want to give up. All right, she doesn't like to give up. Like there's a strive, you know. So here it is: signs of Asperger syndrome. <coughs> One difficulty with social communication interaction. Uh, that that's true. Recently, I tried to explain shit um earlier seven minute um way back in seven minutes, but I have to wait. Was it seven minutes? Seventeen minutes? But I wasted some of your time. Uh, talking like, hey, look at this smash! If you, the person can't blah 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 blah. blah. And then there's hypersensitivity to sensory assaults. By sensory assault, mean like, you know, just a little pinch of, you know, joke. Joke about, you know, saying, oh, you're, <laughs> you know, who's funny? You. That's, and that person tend to be like, shut the fuck up. I will fucking kill you with my alien fucking eyes. And then there's another one, extreme focus on specific topic and interest. In high school, I tend to be off topic um like um, like i don't actually usually i don't usually listen <laughs> in 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 high school i don't listen to my teachers i just look at the window and sometimes play with my pencil case <laughs> and then there's also difficulty with changes in routine sometimes <laughs> and then there's also challenges with empathy be like <laughs> How dare you? Ooh. And then, and then for Sivert's case, privated his account. Uh, and then there's also engaging in stereotype, repetitive behaviors, that kind of stuff. And another thing um, for five characteristics, there's the intellectual or artistic interests. That's why I'm also good at you know um, these modding stuff. And then there's the speech problem. Uh, I mean, basically, for intellectual or artistic interest, basically, you're good at nonverbal. And me personally, I am very good at nonverbal, you know, uh, tests. Like my IQ. <laughs> Second, speech problems. Uh, you've seen me doing this right now. I have problems talking to you because, this, uh, see, I can't. <laughs> can't. I'm just giving examples. And uh, number three, delayed motor development. Uh, d by motor development, you mean like movements and stuff. And then there are poor, sh poor social skills. Like technically, you have social anxieties uh, and stuff. You're afraid to interact with other people. That is sometimes me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, IRL. I am not fond with you know um, interaction with IRL people. On online, I am, you know, I am actually, you know, uh, you know that active. Uh, I don't know the term, but I am, you know, I do kind of have this social skill on the internet. Um, maybe it's because uh, we created our own persona on the internet that you know we kind of have confidence online rather than offline. Same goes to um, online class. Uh, I also had confidence of me, you know, discussing um, uh, during online class uh, than you know than IRL class. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like in short, I am more you know active or interactive. I interact better in online or off screen or computer um, interaction than you know face to face I know that's gonna be a problem for me when I'm gonna have a jo uh, job interview so I better have to train myself for that and then number five uh, the development of harmful psychological problems like threatening like shut the fuck up I will fucking murder you I don't do that and um, I don't threaten people be like Go fuck yourself. Go kill yourself. Oh my god, you're so fucking stupid. I will murder you. I will ban you. Alright? I mean, technically, I do. Uh, 
towards Terry Siverson because, man, even for him, I don't like people ridiculing, you know, other people. Uh, that's what I am. I don't like, and especially if you're going to ridicule me, then I'm going to counter it back to you. And be like, and if you're, if you're going to say, what what the fuck did, did I do to you? And then I say, and I'll just post, you know, the reasons, you know? I'm sorry for my for my problems of talking. I am a 22 year old boy. <laughs> I'm a 22 year old man, um, ready for my job interview next year. Oh my god, I am. <laughs> I am not good at talking. Just because you have Asperger's doesn't mean that you have to be a total dickhead on the internet. Try to relax. Try to do something else. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, uh, in my opinion, it is not a good idea to stick around on social media. That's why I've been inactive on Facebook. Sometimes inactive on Twitter. Like, there's that one time that I've been inactive for a week. Yeah, like that. <coughs> so anyways... To end this video off, uh, I would like to ask this question to you guys. So, if your character uh, doesn't end up as the final character in Smash Ultimate, what will you do? Do you actually uh, post uh, post something like, oh, GG's, uh, congratulations for those who, you know, uh, for the uh, for those who uh, got their pick, or will you? You know what? I can't talk. I really can't talk. Uh, I should actually type it up in the notepad. There. So, if your character is not the final DLC in Smash Ultimate, what will you do? Will you say GG's perhaps next time and congratulations to those who wanted the character? Or would you rather say, fucking hate you Nintendo, how could you do this to me? And later block anyone for proving you, proving you wrong. So in summary, would you accept defeat or refuse defeat? For me, I basically, you know basically pick the first one like literally when Pyramithra dropped and they announced the me costumes I was stunned that it's not Lloyd Irving me costume but rather a monster hunter me costume like really I was admitting defeat and like I was crying about it nah, uh, Somewhere here, I said it here.
like I said it here, right here, um, right here. This age badly, honestly. So, if this happens on Thursday, I'm off Twitter. Uh, I'm off Twitter after presentations. Where I thought this will happen, it will likely never happen in tomorrow's presentation. Tomorrow's four here, so uh, people can dream. And then this one, I said this in March three before you know the Pyramithra presents. What's likely? Will be the most likely will be this guy. Me costumes in tomorrow's presentation will likely have anime characters, and I doubted myself. I doubted myself so bad. So here we go. I'm sorry that I doubted myself, but oh well. GG. I said this on March 3. I can take for the team if I'm wrong about this. And it's gonna be either the Monster Hunter Me costumes or both. I don't know. We'll see. I'll cry like Banjo Me cost uh, Me Fighters if they have Crash Music or something. I doubted myself earlier. Not today, but I was right before I changed my mind. Like, it hurts. It really hurts. I sorry I am doubted myself that you know it's gonna be a monster hunter. Like I accept defeat. That's the point. Like literally, I was hoping that uh, there's gonna be monster hunter. Please get better be monster hunter. But yeah, after seeing that um that it's not Lloyd Irving, then yeah. If you look here in recent here I was wrong I'm sorry guys for believing that Lloyd Irving will return as a costume for Charger Pack 9 please forgive me and then of course it are been forgiven in the end to me some me hats based on Tora me gunner cosmos me sword fighter Elma some surprising third-party costumes and of course Lloyd Irving I could be wrong if they will put out a monster hunter costume Oh my god. And I'm actually, you know. I was wrong. I'm sorry, but I was right before. Why did I change? I doubted myself. I really doubted myself that that would be the case. So, yeah. I wonder what you guys think. Will you um, accept defeat if your character pick is incorrect uh, for the final DLC? Or will you just gonna you know keep on going and just being an asshole on the internet, refusing to defeat, refusing that, uh, refusing to be wrong? Would you want that? Anyways, I will be making a you know throwaway a uh, throwaway email, create a Twitter account, message that uh, message that to Terry Severson, and you know that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you do enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a like. Feel free to uh, subscribe. I'm sorry for a very, very long video. This is another explanation of me talking about, you know, Terry Severson once again. If he's ending up, you know, if he ends up um, not admitting defeat, if we don't admit defeat and still continue to be an asshole on the internet, I don't know what to say about his future. Um... I believe that he might gonna quit Twitter because of all the backlash that he have. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you and goodbye.